All right, so today we decided to get a golf cart. It's day two at FD Atlanta. We have a golf cart. Uh, as far as the red fastest rate. Just because we're in Georgia doesn't mean we have to go wheeling, Ashley. Why don't right? you go down there? Yeah, that, that, that? Yeah. That's a terrible idea. You You're bad influence. Out, You're bad influence. <laughs> There's so many sick cars in the parking lot. One really cool thing about this event is since everyone parks around the track and stuff, you get to really, like, just driving around, you get to see a bunch of cool cars. So it's like basically a car meet in the parking lot. We're trying to find Marco and John now. More cool cars. I love this R32. Look at it. R32 sedan. So dope. Dope AF. So as you can see, it's way more packed today. So we're kind of we're kind of stuck underneath this little tent. That, yeah, we're stuck. Stuck AF. It was so packed, but getting a golf cart is the way to go. Yeah, golf cart next year, no doubt. Gotta bring someone to both days. Places. Yeah. We're rolling down to the pits. <laughs> you got it! Did you catch it? Yeah. I don't know if it's recording. It has a red thing on the screen. Beep, 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 beep. Don't hit us. I'm not power braking. And you want, the CBT won't pull up. Left foot brake. I only got like, like either 30% throttle or zero throttle. There you go, that'll work. I got a Marco bumper. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Now it's like one car. Pushing us faster. Yeah, it is. We're, we can push off of it. There's so many people. How do you walk? You got to pull up somewhere else. Guys, this is crazy. What's up? Bye, bro. <laughs> we got no! Oh, no! Oh, someone else is passing on the right. Oh. oh. Oh, it's the trash. It's so cute. This is totally bumper cars right now. Look at this. <laughs> what is happening? Look at the puppy! I saw. It's so cute! Driving these things around is seriously amazing. Back. Yeah. We made it back. Practice is about to start. All right, I'm gonna go drive around since we have a golf cart now. And, oh God, oh God. Uh, I try to get some clips from like every vantage point of the track because it's really cool how here at the Atlanta you can see just about everything from anywhere. But it all looks different from like, some spots you can see the elevation change, other spots you can see like how big certain parts are. But it, it's really cool. So I'm gonna try to like show you guys. Put together like one run through all the, sections or something i don't know we'll see this is my friend elliot sign 44 he's the one who uh got me in the drifting and all that if you guys remember that story so sick wide body 944 glitter wrap so sick so this is day two uh day two this is the main day so it's main competition it's top 32 then there'll be a little break and then there'll be top 16. um no i got it brett i'm sorry. driving i'm sorry uh and then uh yeah so today's the main day tomorrow we go home so today's like the last two raw. This is where you see a lot of crazy driving, a lot of crazy battles. So it should be interesting for sure. And what? Successfully That's able to the get setup. Easy up onto the top. So this is top 32 practice. The rain is just now starting to come down. Um, it may keep raining for top 32, like main competition, which yesterday it rained for a little bit of top 16 for Pro 2, but then it kind of cleared up. So anyway, it should be interesting. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Everyone, say hi to Elliot again. The guy who got me into drifting. I showed your car earlier. Oh, it looks yeah. sick. I like it. Yeah. 
there. Elliot has had this phone since I've known him, and he had it for years before I've known him. How long have you had that phone? Since 2004. This is literally still the phone he uses to this day. How long does the battery last? Oh, it'll last like two weeks. No way. <laughs> oh, so he sends long text on there too. He's pro with T9. Yeah, that's right. I can do it behind my back. Oh man, you're wild. Okay, now it's like actually raining. Grafton's cuddled up under here. Elliot's a turtle. Everyone else is crammed under those tents. One thing I find super interesting about them driving in the rain is when you watch the cars, like when they're sideways, they're sliding. You know what I mean? Like they're super loose. But then if they get to that point where the car straightens, it just like straightens up like it's like, I don't know, like on rails. Like the car will be slide, 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 and it's like, it's, they always straighten up super violently. I don't know if that's like a characteristic of the tire, you know, getting the water out and it doesn't work well sideways or what, but every single one of the cars, sideways good, and then as soon as it gets close to straightening out, it just snaps to straight. Very weird. So you'll see a lot of drivers fight that, like they give it too much thought, they're gonna loop it, but if they let off at all, the car's gonna straighten up. So you'll see, a lot, especially with the FD cars, you'll see a lot of challenge in the rain because of that reason. It's not just loose the whole time like a standard like practice ship car would be. That happens a lot. Also, the entry is always nuts because they can enter so early. Like, slide, 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 slide. Watch it, it'll straighten up here. Oh, no. Oh. There we go, Alex straightened up. Alright, so now the sun's back out, which means the track's gonna dry up and then it's gonna be patchy and everyone's gonna have practice on wet, but first dry, but then wet, <laughs> and then now dry again, it's gonna be a mess. Patchy tracks are worse than dry or wet because it's like inconsistent. You'll be in a spot where you have to stay completely off throttle and then have to immediately like floor it because it gets dry again and then get off throttle again. So these are by far the hardest tracks to drive in. It's about to be patchy, so it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> Starting to dry up a little bit. One thing that's interesting is like two or three years ago, to see a door to door run like most of the way through, all the way through, was like a couple battles per the whole event, per the whole top 32, top 16, etc. Now it's like almost every battle is near door to door. There's some where there's mistakes that are made, but like I think the quality of the battles, because the quality of the driving has improved, it's just improved tremendously. And now, like, it's everyone's really good basically it's wild how much the sport has progressed in a few years alone Every battle, super close, super good. Turbo! 
We didn't do nothing. That was sketchy. We got that turbo light. It was laggy, it was all right? Really nice bad. work. I'm gonna put this sticker. Well, we gotta be rolling. This isn't fun if we're not driving. Boom, boom. Proximity. Side note the weather is so nice now. It was hot earlier and it's tight. <laughs> Marco, Marco's been laughing at everything. I love laughing. Uh, so, top 16 got to start at this point. A lot of anybody here that drinks just about is probably already drunk. Like you can, you can hear the people getting rowdy. And when I said that everybody who drinks is probably drunk by now, I meant that everybody who drinks is probably drunk by now. I'm upside down. Anyway, uh, they did one run of top 16 and now they're like cleaning off the track or something. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> it gets rowdy here. All right, so in FD, if you're a lead driver and you get hit by the follow driver, if you straighten out or it messes your lineup or anything, you automatically like win that run. Well, normally there's a lot of drivers that'll get hit and then they'll like straighten out and take that like advantage going into the next run or take the win or whatever. But so far today, a bunch of people have gotten hit and everyone is continuing driving. Like hit hard to where it like really affected their line and they just drive through it, which is really cool to see. Like that's pretty boss. I'm gonna have to edit out what Grafton just said. I wanna have range in my beard. <laughs> Okay, and now what sucks about the fact that Hilburn didn't just straighten out is that would have given Chris Forsberg a zero the last run, and Hilburn just zeroed on this run, so it would have been one more time. But now, the win's probably going to go to Forsberg because Hilburn was the man and just drove through the hit. <laughs> There's very little wind, so the smoke is just lingering, so they can't even send the next pair of drivers out. So I know, Steve -O, thanks for being the hype man of Formula Drift. No, fuck this. <laughs> Steve O's an MVP. Oh, Steve -O, stop. Steve -O, stop. Stop. Steve -O, stop. You're waving. You're <laughs> that woman was getting upset. Denova's going one more time against Ryan Turek. I'm going to actually film this run because. It was pretty baller last round. Chelsea, but I don't know. I think Turek might have it. Which this would have been a good battle for Chelsea to win because Turek's like one of the top guys right now. And Chelsea's seeming comfortable in the car, but uh, he might have lost. Silver, 
Alec. Yeah! Alec is a Florida local and he just beat Vaughn and like with a crazy run, like killed it. So that means Alec is in the final four. He might, if he keeps driving that well, he might take the whole event. This is what happens when you get drunk at FD. <laughs> This is the traffic leaving. It goes all the way over there. You can see the headlights through the clouds there. And all the way up. Right there. That's amazing. <laughs> Everyone's getting wet doing burnouts. FD Atlanta every time. This is my fifth time coming to FD Atlanta, and I gotta say, this is the best driving I've ever seen here. From top 32 all the way through, we're like amazing battles. Normally, one, you don't get good battles until you get to like top 16, uh, grade eight. Uh, and two, generally there's still some kind of crappy battles where someone gets kind of blown away. This event, almost every single battle was amazing. I don't know who won, but they picked a winner. No, I, I, Dean won, Dean won. I, we don't know who it is. It's either James Dean or Dean Kearney, but great, great FD Atlanta. I made it back from FD Atlanta. Super, super fun trip. Um, <laughs> it's wild, man. FD Atlanta is always wild. Um, especially now that I don't drink anymore, noticing how drunk everybody gets is hilarious. There's pe the best people watching you can imagine is like the other people and fans of FD Atlanta, but they're all mostly like super awesome people. The fans of FD Atlanta are like, you, you'll see anybody like Jared Deanda and anybody who like is involved in FD post that and like show that like they come up with like costumes and crazy signs and it's just like, uh, the whole atmosphere there is amazing and it's just a super fun trip with my friends staying at the lake house and doing all that stuff and it's a super cheap trip like it only costs us like 150 bucks each for like the whole week of staying at the lake house because we split it between so many people and overall good time had a blast definitely already missing japan but super super fun relaxing vacation uh we had some vortex burgers before we left which is like the best burger place on the planet we had a cool drive back actually killed it djing playing like like late 90s early 2000s music stuff we listened to in like middle school and high school so we were all jamming out in the car on the whole way back uh overall great trip uh i hope you guys enjoyed the videos um i'm gonna be going to a lot more fd events so let me know like what you guys would like to see specifically more of in the fd videos like it's getting to the point now where you know i don't want it to be too redundant and i'm kind of like i've already seen this stuff so i don't know what it is interesting to you guys and what's redundant to you guys so just give me some input on what you know some some creative ideas to make these events more interesting for you guys and stuff like that uh as always thank you guys for watching thanks for subscribing and i will see you next time Bye.